Hey guys, I hope I get back to the channel to create new content soon, but I wanted to put out this update video to let you know that my HTML email mastery course has been completely redone and re-recorded for 2024. So the course now includes HTML and CSS crash course sections across the 16 hours of video content, making the course more friendly to absolute beginners to HTML and CSS who want to learn email development, along with there being a bunch of advanced new topics for experienced developers. I'll include a coupon link in the video description, and I can't wait to get back to creating content for the channel. After devoting so much of my time to this now completed course, which I would consider the best course I've ever made. So for the rest of this video, I'll play the preview videos for the course. And thanks so much to those of you who have signed up for the course and those of you who plan to do so. Hey guys, Drew here, and building responsive HTML email templates can seem pretty tough. The Insight template that you see right here can be built in just a few hours when building a web page. But with responsive HTML emails, we need to layer tables and use conditional statements to make sure that our emails render properly across different devices and email clients. So if we want our HTML emails to look the same in Outlook as they do on our iPad, we'll need to do a lot of testing across mobile, desktop, and web email clients. This is why services like Litmus and Email on Acid, which allow you to preview your emails in different email clients, can charge $100 a month. And because of this obscurity around email development, it's not uncommon for freelancers to charge into the thousands for template layouts or to earn a six-figure salary as an email developer. In website development, we have the W3C standard for code validation and best practices. But there's no such validation service for HTML email development, so all we can rely on are the email client preview testing services. And that's why when I decided to build this HTML email mastery course, I made the decision to test our course projects live while we develop our responsive, dark mode friendly email templates. That way you can be certain that our course projects, in addition to the nine bonus email templates and email signature, have been tested on all 82 email client renderings offered through the email client preview test testing services. So I'm excited to get you introduced to the course template projects, all of the course bonuses, and to share all of my knowledge on HTML email development. Welcome to the course. In this lesson, we'll get an introduction to the course, and I'll tell you a little bit about myself as the instructor. So what will we learn in the course? With the inclusion of HTML and CSS crash course sections, this course is for complete beginners and experienced developers. So whether you're an absolute beginner at HTML or an experienced email developer, this course will take you through a progression to HTML email mastery. You'll be learning the basics of building template layouts with HTML5 to building responsive HTML email templates with tables. This includes email concepts such as accessibility, designing for dark mode, adding pre-header text, HTML email elements, conditional statements for Windows Outlook, and more. You'll be coding along with me building email template projects as I test them live in two different email client testing preview services, so you'll have the skills to build email templates that render across 80 plus email clients. And for the experienced email developers wanting to know what sets this course apart from any other course you'll find on the web, once beginners taking the course are up to speed, starting from scratch, we're going to be creating a bulletproof HTML5 boilerplate built for email client rendering, accounting for known rendering issues across different email clients, including tips and tricks to make all of your emails look the same no matter what email client it's being viewed on. We'll be building both newsletter and transactional emails with merge elements or merge tags for the integration with email service providers like MailChimp. And along with our boilerplate and HTML email projects, you're going to learn HTML email media query compatibility and client rendering. We'll also be taking a deep dive into dark mode HTML email with dark mode query rendering, including windows with data, OGSC, and CSS blend modes for dark mode in Gmail. 
This way, you'll know how to style for dark mode across all of the email clients that will respond to dark mode CSS styling. And building on our HTML email media queries, you'll be learning how to build gold standard fluid hybrid 100% with responsive columns, with MSO or Microsoft Office conditional statements, with ghost tables for Windows Outlook. This way, your responsive HTML email columns will render properly across all Windows Outlook platforms as well as mobile email clients. You'll also learn how to build and lay out VML or vector markup elements for Windows, including bulletproof buttons and background images for Windows Outlook. And with all of the attention we'll give to Windows Outlook, you're going to learn countless Windows Outlook rendering tips and tricks to make sure your emails look perfect. So what's included in the course? The course spans 118 lessons across 15 well-documented sections, and throughout the course, progress files are included with each coding lesson. This way you can check your code to mine no matter where you are in the course, or pick up and start fresh from any lesson. We'll be building four complete email template projects with the progress files and the completed code provided for us, which includes our main template project and take-home test project. You'll also be receiving nine email template bonuses, an HTML email signature, and a customizable email portfolio website template, which I'm going to walk you through how to make your very own. All of the images used throughout the course will be provided for you in both a local form for your computer as well as a hosted HTML email image version that you can link to live on the web along with the social media icon packs provided as bonuses. And along the way, you'll see me putting all of our projects to the test with email client preview testing services. Then last but not least, you'll be completing eight quizzes to make sure that you retain the knowledge from the course. So what skills are required to participate in the course? None whatsoever. No prior HTML or HTML email skills are required. All you need to participate is a free text editor to write your HTML, which I'm going to get you set up with and give an introductory lesson on. The HTML and CSS crash course sections will give you all the skills you need to go on to build responsive HTML email templates. And on top of the video lessons, the course curriculum will provide additional learning resources for each section. Lastly, who is the instructor? My name is Drew Ryan, and I'll be your instructor for the course. I've been instructing online since 2014, which includes teaching email template development since 2017. And along the way, over 100,000 have put their trust in my teaching by following me on social media and in email lists. Over the years, my lessons have also landed in colleges and universities across three continents, including the University of Washington in Seattle. And I also run the websites responsivehtmlemail.com and w3newbie.com, along with my associated YouTube channels. So I'm excited to get the course started. Over the next two lessons, we'll be looking at the design and structure of the course with an introduction to the course curriculum. Then we'll get introduced to all of our course projects with a look inside of the main course download attached to that lesson. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the course curriculum and I'll take a minute to go over the design and structure of the course. So attached to this lesson is the main course download where you'll find section one intro to the course containing the course curriculum. And inside of this folder, you'll find that I've included a dark and light version of the course curriculum, which you can choose based on your preference. Even though there's a course curriculum where you're viewing the course, I like to provide my own curriculum. This way, any web pages that I have open throughout the course, you'll have a direct link to underneath that lesson here inside of the curriculum. So this, along with the main course download, I'd recommend you have open throughout the entire course. So I'm going to switch over to the light version and go over a bit of the course structure and design. So you can use the navigation up top to link to each one of the course sections. 
and match up the course number. So right now we're on lesson number two, going over the course curriculum in the introduction to the course section. Then in section number two, we're gonna get an introduction to HTML email to find out what sets it apart from web development, as well as some other basic information about creating email templates. Then for absolute beginners, before we get into coding for HTML email, there's an HTML crash course and CSS crash course in sections three and four, which will get you up to speed with experienced developers. So those of you who have experience in HTML and CSS, you can use this as a refresher or skip to section five. So in section five, we're gonna be building an HTML5 email template project where we'll put the HTML and CSS crash course skills to use. And we'll also see how HTML5 renders in email clients to find out what sets certain HTML5 elements apart from developing for email. So this will bring us back to sort of more theory lessons, building on the introduction to HTML email concepts in section two, where we'll go in depth into HTML email testing and best practices, as well as email design best practices and accessibility. Then in section eight, we're gonna go deep into our HTML email code by building an extensive boilerplate to account for email client rendering issues. So we can be certain that all of our email template projects throughout the rest of the course render properly across all testable email clients. Also in section eight, we're gonna go over media queries and dark mode extensively in several of the lessons. So in lesson number three, which is the next lesson, we're gonna go over how all of these projects look, but briefly running through the rest of these in section nine, we're gonna be building a single column transactional email template as a practice activity inside of our new boilerplate. Then in section 10, we're gonna dig into laying out responsive HTML email columns. So you know how to lay out email templates with columns of all different widths that of course render properly across all email clients. In section 11, we're gonna go deep into email elements and features. So we'll learn which elements in HTML and CSS render properly across email clients. And we'll also go deeper into Microsoft Office and vector markup language, which is introduced in the boilerplate in section eight. Then in section 12, we're gonna be building a complete HTML email template from scratch, starting with just our boilerplate, putting all of the skills we learned up to this point in the course to use with an extensive project. In section 13, I'm gonna ask you to build your own email template with instructions as your test project for the course. And for the last two sections, I'm gonna be providing you with an HTML5 email portfolio website and email signature. Then in section 15, course bonuses, including nine complete bonus email templates. So be sure to keep your course curriculum open throughout the entirety of the course so you can link to different sections and go to the same web pages that I mentioned throughout the lessons. For now, let's get a better understanding of all of the different coding projects we're gonna cover in the course. So now that we've been introduced to our course curriculum and got a preview of some of the projects we'll be building alongside the curriculum, let's take a closer look at the main course download and the projects we'll be building. So moving on to section two, we're gonna get an introduction to HTML email, which doesn't include a project, but then we'll move on to section three, which is the HTML crash course. And this includes 20 full lessons on HTML, including the block and inline elements example I have up, unordered lists, tables, and creating elements with IDs and classes to link to CSS as a few examples. We won't be putting all of the HTML elements learned in the crash course to use in our email projects, but they're still good to know in case you run into obstacles in the future where you need to put them to use. For the CSS crash course section, however, almost all of the lessons will go to use in our email projects. Some of the rules for styling will change with email, but the fundamentals like the box model we see here and in this lesson, as well as the fundamentals to CSS that it takes to build elements like this button, and the CSS media queries it takes to build mobile-friendly designs like this simple two-column section, 
will all be put to use in our HTML email template projects. So moving on from section four to five, we're gonna be building an HTML5 responsive HTML email design. This will be the first of our practice activities. So while this project won't render across all email clients properly, it's important for us to go through the process of building such a template, which will allow us to put our skills from the crash course to use. And it's gonna lead us into the HTML email fundamentals, where we're gonna be building with tables after testing this project to find out what separates HTML email templates built with tables versus HTML5 elements. So the testing of this will be an important transition period in the course where we go from an understanding of web elements versus email elements. So this, as I mentioned, will lead us into HTML email testing, which will be in section six. Then in section seven, we'll be covering design and accessibility best practices for email. In section eight, we'll be laying out our extensive HTML email boilerplate, accounting for rendering issues across email clients, as well as the addition of media queries and dark mode for email. Throughout the boilerplate section, we'll be learning which email clients respond to dark mode, media queries, internal, and inline styling methods. Then moving on to section nine, we'll have our second practice activity, which is the single column transactional HTML email featuring a merge tag where it says contact.firstname I'll put to use in an email service provider. So with our single column styling down for HTML emails, we're gonna move on to section 10, where we'll learn how to lay out responsive HTML email columns that are mobile friendly as we work through a progression of laying out columns, working up to what I consider the gold standard for responsive HTML email columns, which are fluid hybrid, 100% responsive width, rendering properly on Outlook, as well as all other email clients. And after we build our responsive columns, which will prepare us for our email template projects later in the course, we'll also go over the code for this file, column examples, which lays out a number of different ways and widths to include as our email columns in our responsive HTML email templates. So with the completion of this section 10, you're gonna be prepared to lay out columns in any way you want across your email templates. So moving back over to our sections, next will be section 11, where we're gonna cover HTML email elements extensively. So in this section, you'll learn the compatibility and proper rendering of elements using HTML and CSS for email. We'll start off with simple elements like how to apply spacing properly that matches up across all email clients. Then we'll go over text and font styling in HTML email, including the addition of web fonts like Google Fonts. Next, we'll cover color, box shadow, and border radius in HTML email for light and dark mode. And we'll be testing all of these elements, including the ones that we can't see here, written in VML or vector markup language, which can only be seen in Windows Outlook. We'll also put VML or vector markup language to use for the addition of buttons in HTML email and the use of background images, including those with GIFs and content on top of them. All of these elements, by the way, we'll be looking at the compatibility across different email clients using an email reference tool we'll look at throughout the course. And that tool will really come into use for our last lesson in the elements section covering experimental elements in HTML email with the exception of background gradients which has really good support but with this file we'll take a look at the compatibility for SVG or scalable vector graphics included both on the web and in the HTML as well as the checkbox hack method and CSS animations in email. So all of this is gonna lead us up to our main course project in section 12, which is when we'll build this complete HTML email template, including a background GIF image with content on top of it, buttons, two column, three column, and four column sections, all dark mode friendly, with the use of conditional statements and elements using vector markup language for Windows Outlook in Microsoft Office. 
And our design will of course be responsive and mobile friendly. So we'll be putting to use the gold standard responsive HTML email columns, allowing our email tables to be fluid hybrid at 100% width in the mobile width versions of our design, no matter what email client the email template is being viewed on. So with the completion of this design and email template, you're going to be ready to start building email templates on your own. And that's what you're going to do in section 13. In this section, I'll be giving you PDF instructions on an email template design where you'll put all of the skills you've learned inside of the course to use to build a real world project just as you would in freelancing or perhaps as a interview project that you would take home and need to return during the interview process. So we'll go over the details of that, of course, with the project instructions in section 13. But next, moving on to section 14, this is where I'm going to start to provide you some pretty cool additions to the course. And this will start with your very own email developer portfolio website, which I'm going to show you how to customize and how to put online as your own portfolio website, linking to your portfolio items and course certificates. The project website, just like all of our email templates, will be responsive and mobile friendly with the drop down navigation where you can scroll to different sections of the design. So you'll learn how to customize this as your very own, how to upload it to the internet, and how to create your own email address for the domain name you choose for your portfolio website. Also included in this section, I'm going to provide you with a matching HTML email signature, which you can make your very own. And I'll show you how to add your HTML email signature to Gmail, including on your own domain name email if you decide to get your own website address. Then moving on to the last section of the course, which is section 15, that's where I'm going to provide you with some email template bonuses. First though, included in this section folder will be all of the bonus images and icons. Here you'll find all of the images used in the bonus templates, as well as several different social media icon packs which you can use in your own email template designs, including the latest with Twitter X and different icon packs, including those that are gray or colored as an example with these icons here. You'll also receive live links to all of these different images and icons in the text file in the bonus section. But moving on to the bonus templates, here you'll find nine different bonus HTML email templates that are all mobile friendly, dark mode friendly, and use the same fundamentals with building HTML email templates that are learned throughout the course. So with your HTML email skills, you'll be able to mix and match the different templates and make them your very own by modifying the HTML and CSS. So hopefully you've enjoyed this overview of all of our course projects and the course bonuses. Let's move on to the next lesson. In this short lesson, I'll go over course support and resources. So how is the course supported? First off, each coding lesson in the course comes with a progress file to check your work from one lesson to the next. So while coding along with me in the course, if you think you've made a mistake, you can just check the progress file or start fresh with the completed code up to that lesson with the progress file. And this goes along with learning how to compare your HTML code with the completed lesson files in your text editor, along with the foundational skills you'll be learning in HTML and CSS. We'll also cover free email testing resources to test how your emails appear inside of the inbox and to find coding errors. Lastly, I'll be in the course Q&A section answering your course-related HTML email questions along the way. So don't hesitate to ask questions or look through all of the existing questions as I reply to 100% of course questions and feedback. 